What's up guys, David Land here and it's that time of the year again. NASCAR Spin Master 2014 huge update, unboxing, review, video. Uh, I've gotten so much support on the last two years I've done a video like this in 2012. Kind of surprised me, no one had done Spin Master reviews on YouTube as far as I could tell and or none of them uh, very high quality. Uploaded an HD review, it's got like 15, 20,000 views now. Unbelievable. Did it last year, and I got the same response. So I'm doing it again this year. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, uh, I'm also going to touch on the uh, the end of 2013 cars, uh, but uh, just uh, I love the support you guys give. First of all, uh, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't have bought all these cars if it wasn't for you guys. Um, as you can tell, uh, we're I'm sitting here in February of 2014, uh, a few days before the Daytona 500. Uh, and uh, we've already got 2014 cars. Spin Master, I have to uh, extend my uh, uh, congratulations to you uh, and the NASCAR Authentics team. I, I've been in contact with them on Twitter a few times. They're, they seem like really nice people. And uh, they've, uh, they've gotten the distribution problem solved. I've been able to find, uh, th at the end of 2013, I found a lot of cars. Uh, that I that I will review review here, uh, and I also found the 2014 cars. I actually found them a couple weeks ago uh, in a Michigan Meyer. I've also seen them in WalMarts, uh, uh, in uh, uh, and uh, Targets. I believe Target. I can't remember. Yes, Target, uh, Toys R Us. I'm not so sure yet, but uh, I found them in Indiana and Michigan. So uh, that's two states, and uh, that's a pretty good thing. Um, as I said before, I bought some of the uh, cars at the end of 2013. I haven't done a review since the Penske Spin Master uh, update review. But uh, if you just want to see the 2014 cars, uh, I'm going to leave a little annotation here and you can skip right to that review in case you've already seen or already own the end of 2013 cars. But uh, I think some of you are going to want to stick around because uh, we got some uh, pretty special uh, cars that a lot of hardcore NASCAR fans are probably going to want to see, and some of those are pretty hard to find. So, uh, for those of you who are going to stick around for the 2013 cars, uh, we're going to start that right now. And those of you who have already skipped ahead, well, you've probably already skipped ahead. So, let's talk about the end of 2013 and the NASCAR Authentics line, uh, where it went. Uh, and first, we're going to start with this infamous poster that I'm sure most of you who are big Spin Master fans have already seen, analyzed, and, uh, and uh, picked apart. And uh, I just wanted to show you, first of all, uh, how the waves have kind of gone, and uh, I'm kind of going to do this easier than just naming the cars off, as that kind of gets tedious. Uh, as you can see coming on right now is the uh, uh, cars in red outline. That is wa That was wave one, mostly Hendrick cars, I believe, one Stuart Haas car. I'm not going to get into specifics because I've already covered that wave in previous videos. Uh, and then here comes a wave two, which was yellow and introduced the uh, Fords and Toyotas. Uh, nothing to write home ag about. Again, I, uh, I covered this in a video, uh, two videos actually. And uh, here comes wave three, which is the new wave or the new wave in, ter in terms of the 2013 cars and this is something I kinda didn't cover and this is the first time I'm covering it so as you can see uh, some new Fords, uh, Ricky Stenhouse, Bobby Labonte, uh, Dale Earnhardt, the uh, the classic car which I do have um, as you can see uh, you know but the, the problem is that we've got about what is that eight cars uh, that are unreleased as you can see, the Kyle Busch Interstate Batteries car, Tony Stewart Tracker Boats, Jeff Burton Cheerios, uh, Eric Am Almarola Smithfield, uh, Kevin Harvick Jimmy Johns, uh, Jamie McMurray McDonald's, Carl Edwards UPS, and Trevor Bain uh, Ford uh, Motorcraft. Uh, those cars, uh, I would assume, would be the 2013 Wave 4, which, to my knowledge, has not been released. So uh, the question now is, uh, will we ever see those cars? There is a segment in the uh, in the 2013 uh, range that I think they could fit into, kind of. So we may or may not see those cars released. Who knows? All right, let's get to the unboxing and review of the 2013 cars. I kind of want to get this going quickly because I got a lot of cars to get through. 
As you can see, this car is from Wave 2, Matt Kenseth, the first Toyota released, and I'm sorry I didn't get to uh, to review this car earlier. I was moving, and it, it really, uh, there was a big crunch in, at the end of last year, so now that I'm settled in, uh, I got I picked up this car in a Meyer store. It might be a little bit hard to find on the pegs these days, um, but uh, I assume, I would hopefully... Uh, think that most of you, if you didn't get it, uh, I would assume it will come out in the 2014 cars. Uh, as you'll see, there's lots of opportunity for them uh, to get these cars back out and released. And here we go. Let's unbox it. As, we, as you can tell, uh, unfortunately, I won't have to, you won't get this excitement with the 2014 cars. They've kind of fixed the packaging, so it's not quite as annoying, but I've mastered it just as I don't need to master it anymore. Oh, look at that. As you can, uh, as you know, this is the first Toyota, and as you can see, Spin Master starts, has started to uh, do that. I put the uh, manufacturer logo next to the name as it is in the Sprint Cup series with the new Gen 6 cars. I've never understood that whole Home Depot thing on the back. It kind of ruins the jo Dollar General uh, uh, look. Walmarts uh, are clearancing uh, some of these NASCAR Authentics, and I guess I'll start with this car since I picked it up. But uh, they're clearancing some of these uh, gen uh, the Gen 6 cars, and I've even seen the 2014 cars mistakenly uh, placed in clearance. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's not good for that, or not good for, um, not good for Walmart because they could charge full price for those cars, and yet uh, they're selling them at uh, at discounted rates. But yeah, I got this car on uh, clearance. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of the 2014 cars on clearance because I had already bought them at full price. You know, it's 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 a difference of one and a half dollars, but still, you know, sometimes you like to save money, especially as a 20 year old. Uh, so uh, there's Carl. Uh, I guess we'll get this guy open. This is the first Carl Edwards. I did not buy the Fastenal car from uh, Wave 2. And this is going to be exciting because I can already tell this is not going well. Come on, Carl. Come on, cousin. Cousin Carl. Yeehaw. Oh, there we go. And here we go. Number 99 Aflac car. Nice looking ride. I'm not so sure. I, for some reason, I think Affleck is not signed with Edwards this year. I can't remember. Somebody, somebody who knows more about NASCAR, tell me. Unfortunately, I haven't really had a lot of TV time, so I haven't watched like the Gatorade Duels or the Sprint Unlimited or any of that stuff. So I'm pretty much. I I know that, um, and this is going to be old news to 90% of these viewers, but I know that the the, somehow NASCAR put the fix on that uh, that put the three car on the pole, just like they put Danica on the pole last year. Uh, oh, and that reminds me that uh, if you're a Daytona 500 fan from last year, there are a couple sets out uh, that Spin Master has released. Who are we going to go with next? We'll go with Denny Hamlin. Uh, that are uh, two packs from the Daytona 500 of last year. One is the front row with Jeff Gordon and Danica Patrick, and the other is uh, the finishing order with the blue Jimmy Johnson car and uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. So you might want to pick those up. You might not want to because most of those cars are pretty easy to find. Uh, here's the FedEx Denny Hamlin car. There's the box. Uh, as we know, there's not a whole lot on the back. Uh, and let's crack this guy open. This is the second Toyota of three, which I get in... 2013, the 2013 assortment, and there's uh, one more in the 2014 assortment that, of course, I'm very excited about, uh, and I'm sure some of you fans of NASCAR will be as well. There's the new uh, logo printed on the uh, car. You know, I gotta hand it to NASCAR, you know, uh, these Gen 6 cars, even the Toyota looks pretty good, though I... Uh, I would like to know where I can buy a rear-wheel drive 800 horsepower Camry. Uh, that is very exciting. Someone get in touch with Toyota. I love the. Uh, you know, I've never been a big fan of Denny Hamlin. I've never been a big fan of this paint job. It looks really nice on this car. Let's go with this guy. 
Uh, I don't. He's uh, he's Danica Patrick's boyfriend, right? Yeah, whatever. It's a nice looking car. I actually missed out on the on the Kenseth Best Buy car that actually was released in 2012. I think it won the Daytona 500, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I saw it once in a Kmart in Bloomington, Indiana, ironically enough, uh, and I didn't buy it. Uh, so this is my first Best Buy Ford. Uh, there you go. Uh, of course, this is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Uh, he drives for... Um, I can't remember who he drives for. He drives for the same team that Edwards drives for. <laughs> Roush. Roush. Roush Fenway. Uh, I couldn't remember that. Oh, look at this guy. And here we go, the Ford logo. I don't know if the Ford logo was on the uh, on the Penske cars. I'll have to look. And that's the power going out. Oh, that's the power coming back on. Wow, you guys witnessed a power outage. There's some serious weather coming in right now. I don't know what, what's going on. But uh, a little wonky Fusion logo. Best Buy. Hashtag Best Buy 17. Nobody used that. Seriously, don't give Best Buy any free promotion. There you go. That's the Best Buy Ricky Stenhouse Jr. car. Beautiful car, I must say. And here's the one that uh, that I was most excited about and is the hardest one to find for me. So let's rip open this horribly valuable package and uh, get to the 47 car. Toyota didn't pay Spinmaster enough to get their logo on the... Ah, whatever. Not a big deal to me. The packaging is a means to an end. Ah, look look how good I got at this, right? Right before they changed the packaging. Oh, yes, baby. Now, of course, uh, knowledgeable NASCAR fans will know that this this is A.J. Allmendinger's car this year. He went to race Indy cars for a year for Roger Penske, and he's gotten this ride as I believe Bobby Labonte is either retired or uh, stepped back his NASCAR driving quite a bit. Oh, what a nice looking car. And again, I have to praise Spinmaster because I love I love getting these back markers. I don't like it when they overrun the pegs where you can't find the new cars. But uh, I love getting these uh, kind of, you know, farther back in the field cars. It's kind of nice, it, it um, especially for those people who do stop motion and, you know, for the kids uh, who play with them, you know, you got to have cars to lap or cars, you know, to fill out the grid, you can't just have all stars. You know, it's not always an all star race. And sometimes, uh, you know, you can have uh, the back guys uh, come up to the front because it's always fun. Now, of course, I know a lot of you uh, are really excited for this. And I hate to break it to you, but I'm not going to review this car in this review. Well, I'm not going to unbox it in this review. And here's why there's um, another uh, Earnhardt car in the. Uh, in the first wave of 2014 and I thought it would be better and more important to do a special unboxing of those two cars together because they're the same mold I believe it's called an Aero Coupe I'm not a hundred percent on that but uh, I'm sure I'll be let, uh, n let known in the comments I believe this is Illumina body or style um, but yeah um, as somebody who uh, was young enough or old enough I should say to have seen Dale Earnhardt in the uh, red uh, or the black three, uh, not particularly this car. I'm not that old, but uh, yeah, it's a really cool piece, and I can't wait to show you the 2014 one. But this will be on a separate video. I'll get it out, you know, in almost immediately after this video. But I just want to do a separate video uh, to uh, you know make it a little more special because these cars are uh, really cool, and uh, I think they deserve it. So uh, without further ado, these are the. This is the end of 2013 update, and now uh, we're going to join the rest of the impatient people in the uh, 2014 NASCAR Authentics review. See you in a second. Okay, so the 2014 NASCAR Authentics. Now there's a lot to cover, uh, so uh, we'll start covering it right now. As you can see, there's now segments for the 2014 NASCAR Authentics. This one's Hard Drivers. This is the only uh, one from Wave 1. Tony Stewart. Uh, you know, your guess is as good as mine who ends up in this segment uh, when, it, when, uh, when we get more of the cars. But as you can see also, there's now a collector box included. Uh, a throwback to Matchbox cars, ironically enough, of the 60s. 
Uh, the other segments are as follows. Um, Great Racers, which uh, includes in Wave 1 uh, Clint Boyer and Kevin Harvick. Uh, Future Stars, which in this wave includes Danica Patrick. Race Winners, which includes the 2013 uh, Jimmy Johnson car. And as I mentioned in the 2013 update, that, uh, that the unreleased cars might fit into that segment. But I don't believe any of those cars, save for maybe Kevin Harvick, and maybe Jamie McMurray actually won races last year. Uh, so who, who knows what that's all about. Uh, we've also got NASCAR Icons, uh, which is one of the most exciting ones I can think of, because that opens up the realm of possibilities, uh, including the STP uh, King, Richard Petty. I would love that car. Maybe the Rainbow Warriors, Jeff Gordon? Yeah, please? As a 90s kid, I, I definitely appreciate the night, uh, the uh, that car. There's also NASCAR Kids. I did not pick up that car because it was a Monsters University uh, Jimmy Johnson car. I'll flash a photo of it on the uh, screen so you guys know what that looks like. And if you're interested, pick it up. But I'm not interested uh, just simply because I've got enough Jimmy Johnson. I've got like three of them already from this NASCAR Authentics. And I just don't need any more. As you can also tell, they've gotten rid of the kind of wonky packaging to a much more uh, standard uh, package, which is nice, uh, definitely for me, because uh, as you, some of you longtime viewers know, uh, I had a tendency to have the cars fly out of the package. And uh, hopefully, I won't have that problem now. So without further ado, let's get to the uh, unboxing. And this is Tony Stewart. Now, I should uh, bring up... And some, some people probably at Spin Master are not going to like me for doing this. But uh, the car on the box is, uh, is the 2013 uh, Tony Stewart car. And the car on top of the box is the 2014 car. Sorry. I had to point it out. And it's just, it's trivial. It's, it's not that big of a deal. And a lot of the kids, you know what? They're going to, they, they may or may not use their collector box. Who knows? The collector box is for weird people like me who buy toys at 20 years old. Uh, so, well, you know what, I'm going to put that car down, let's do the box first. There's some some people are probably not going to like me for doing this. Actually, I'm already liking this because look at that! There's a window in it! So you can uh, you can put your, uh, your car in the window. That's actually really cool. I'm going to show you that. Uh, right after we get to this, uh, this review. Uh, this is an orange, orange Tony Stewart car. That's really blowing out on my camera. It's not quite that orange in real life, but that's how it looks on the television. As I'm sure some of you watching NASCAR broadcasts and probably watching the Daytona 500 this weekend will, uh, notice that, uh, these cars, uh, these, this day glow orange really blows out on cameras. But it gives that effect. Uh, that I think they're looking for. Of course, Bass Pro Shops. Oh, I did it. I dropped it. Uh, Bass Pro Shops is the, uh, and there we go, the Chevy logo now printed on the windshield, which is improvement over the 2013 cars. And, uh, well, let's do it. Let's show you the box. Opens pretty easily. And the car, I'm sure, just slides right in here. And there you go. That's what it looks like. But honestly, I'd want to. I'd want something to prop that up so you could get a little bit better uh, view of the car. But uh, actually, for some people, this is going to be really good storage. Your car won't get dusty. Your box will. So there you go. There's uh, Tony Stewart. So next up, we have Jimmy Johnson, and he's in the race winner segment, uh, as you can see, designated by the blue. Now this is the 2013 Daytona 500 edition, which uh, leads me to hope, and I shouldn't hope because that always uh, is a bad thing, but uh, maybe we get some of the 2013 cars in this segment. So you can see on the back, nice little uh, spotter's guidey uh, uh, drawn uh, Jimmy Johnson car there. Let's open her up. Or him. Ooh, wow, oops. Of course, uh, Jimmy Johnson is the uh, champion of NASCAR. 
for this year and last year and the year before. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's his first championship he's won since I think uh, 2011? 10? 2010 maybe? Anyway, there's the box. See Hendrick Motorsports on the back. And here's the car. The Lowe's 48, the Daytona 500 winner. Nice looking car. Very happy to add this to my collection, as you can see. Once again, printing on the windshield. Very nice. Love that car. Now, who are we going to pick on next? I think we'll do a new car, especially because it's in the shot, in focus. New driver, new car, nice Photoshop job on his hat there, Outback Steakhouse. And this is from the Great Racers segment, which is designated by Orange. So you know the hard drivers and uh, race winners are designated by Blue and Red, respectively. As you can see, another spotter's guide, Outback Steakhouse. Car number four, Kevin Harvick from Stuart Haas Racing. Bloomin' Monday. Never been to Outback Steakhouse. Is it any good? I don't know if we have any around my area. We don't have a whole lot of anything around this area, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, boy, I'm running out of space here. I got too many boxes. As you can see, there's the box, the collector box. Stuart Haas Racing. And here's the car, the Outback Steakhouse. You got a bloomin' onions right on the hood. Harvick's car. Bloomin' Monday. Number four. Boy, they they really want you to uh, to come in on Mondays. To Outback Steakhouse, so yeah. Really nice looking car. Wonder if this will be a race winner this year. What do you guys think? Eh, let's go with uh, let's go with with um, Danica and some of my more. Uh, no, I won't say that. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> a recent scandal involving Danica Patrick. I don't know how that turned out because I don't really have a whole lot of internet access. As you can see, Future Stars about, is designated by Purple. I would assume we'd get Ricky Stenthouse, Trevor Bain, people like that in this segment of the line. And I do like uh, what they've done with the GoDaddy uh, car this year. It looks nice. I like the stripe, the racing stripe. It's kind of a classic look, ironically enough. Um, you don't see many uh, race cars with racing stripes these days. You can see there's the box, and I'm going to almost ignore the fact that that's the 2013 livery again. Shh, don't tell anybody. So there's the box. Nothing to write home about. For you collectors, you'll probably uh, enjoy it. It looks really nice. There we go, Danica Patrick. It's go time. Go Daddy. Of course, Go Daddy left IndyCar Racing and James Hinchcliffe last year. This is, I believe now, GoDaddy's exclusive racing property, Danica Patrick. Number 10, this is my first Danica car since uh, she was uh, driving an IndyCar. Um, so there you go, Danica Patrick. Nice GoDaddy green. A nice looking model. And I'm not talking about the Danica, I'm talking, oh god. Anyway. This is the one I'm most excited about, uh, Mr. Tired Arms, Clint Boyer. Of course, he's in the Great Racer segment along with Kevin Harvick. And we didn't get any of the Michael Waltrip racing cars last year. I was really disappointed that we didn't get a Martin Truex in the Napa uh, colors. I really like those colors. And of course, Napa is gone after the rigging of the Chase scandal. So what does Ryan France do? He makes the Chase horribly complicated. And uh, whatever. I'm just I'm just happy I'm an IndyCar and uh, an IndyCar fan, and I like Le Mans as well, the World Endurance Championship. 
A little less of that weird stuff going on in those series, though they're not immune, believe me. Uh, Clint Boyer, the Peak Motor Oil. Toyota. J. Michael Waltrip Racing. Number 15. And let's get old Boyer out. Oop. There's the top of the car. As you can see, they really want you to follow the Michael Waltrip Racing on Twitter. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter, too, at DLAN91. And I'd rather you follow me than follow Michael Waltrip Racing. And there we go, Peak Motor Oil. Really nice looking car. A really nice looking car. This was one of the ones that kind of sold me on what the Gen 6 cars would look like as they revealed this paint scheme or something similar to it last year. Really nice looking car. Definitely a fan of this car. I'm not a... I don't hate Clint Boyer as I'm sure some people do these days after the scandal. I've got one more car to show you. I won't be unboxing it. As I said in my 2013 review, I'm going to pair it with this car. And uh, I'll do a special review of the Earnhardt uh, Aero Coupes, as it were. Uh, but I'm really excited about this NASCAR Icon segment. As you can see, it's in gold. And this has the potential to have a lot of really, really neat cars in it. And I'm really excited to see what they do with it. Like I said, Rainbow Warriors. Come on, Richard Petty. But anyway, uh, let's go back to the wide shot, and uh, I'll wrap this up. So here in all its glory uh, is my entire Gen 6 collection. Uh, I've reviewed most of these cars on my channel, so if you like, uh, if you like this video, uh, be sure to subscribe, like the video, share it, tweet it, whatever. Uh, tweet at me uh, or follow me on Twitter at DLand91. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think. I'd also like to hear what you want to see in this uh, in the Spin Masters line. I'm really excited about the. Um, the NASCAR Legends segment, and I will be reviewing the two cars that are, have been in that segment in my next video, which should be out in a couple days. Uh, but until then, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, let me know, uh, give me your feedback, what you like, what you didn't like, and uh, I'll see you on the next NASCAR Spin Masters review right here on David Land. Uh -huh.